Colin, how, how did this all come about? You taking? Well, yeah, because um, Juliet was a was a babe in the pantomime. And they used to have a ask a local ballet school for children to to be babes. I mean, mm -hmm. they they didn't have to do much other than look sweet. Yes, okay? and. Uh, <laughs> So, so sitting, waiting for a rehearsal, I, I did some drawings, because it, <laughs> such as that, which that was the first one, which was Dick Whittington in December 92, so, and that was in the old Queen's Hall, and yeah. so when that all finished, I asked whether I could go in and draw, because the lighting was, is so good, I mean, lighting's always been interest in painting, you know, yes, and, of course, um, of course you get all these fantastic lights, and shapes and silhouettes and stuff. So that's how that's how it started, and then it, it's gone on and <laughs> produced all this lot. <laughs> so the, 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 ones, the renovation ones. So this is over. And how long a period was this over when you were doing the renovation? Uh, well, we, we're like roughly ninety three, ninety four, wasn't it? Yeah, it was time. over. It was a twelve month, wasn't it? I think they did it. Because it's like that's before my time. That was. Was it right? Yeah, yeah. I was I leisure centering then. Oh right. <laughs> yeah, well, it must have been twelve months or so they were doing, and I, I mean, I, yeah. you know, I just went in and out as it progressed. Right. right. So as an artist, you, you're always well prepared, are you, wherever you go? You might. Well, be when, the, when, the, when the when the kids were little, I used yeah. to use these books all the time because I did an awful lot of the kids, drawing the kids. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so this was ideal because I could carry it around. Yeah. So I know that. Uh, I'm trying to get so many of these things. <laughs> Remembering what's where. Yeah. They're not so catalogued. <laughs> That's it for Google, so that must be even no. further. That's here. Does it really matter? So she was involved with the Panto for quite a few years? Yeah, well, do you, do you remember Joan Spear at Pilton? I don't. That know. was she sitting in the in the hall there, waiting yeah, for yeah. them to. Yeah. Yeah. There wasn't much, but that's what started it, really. Yeah. And um, so from that point, uh, was it? Was it? And then the manager was. The manager. <laughs> can't remember. His name. Yeah. He used to have a hotel on Tor Vale. Okay. And this is this is what early nineties. Well, yeah, it must be. So this was this time. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So this is just prior to the to the changes. Yeah, and then and then so I did that and mm -hmm. then I think it was the Canadian chap Far suggested upstairs. I go in. Um, that's where yeah. that wall used to be, I think there used yeah. to be the hole down. I did, there. yeah, initially. Yeah. Now we've we've um, made it into a, a performing area yes, as well as right. as you yeah. know as cafe. And that's uh, Butcher's Row side, so that must be down the Yeah. So there's hundreds of them. Crikey, yeah. It's building the lift shaft. <laughs> but the great, I mean, the great thing about it was was that this was all very theatrical because they've got the builders' lamps everywhere. So yeah, so yeah, you've got so the same the... the same lighting that you get yeah. on the stage. <laughs> That's on the balcony. Yeah. Oops. Looking towards the front door. That must be the front out yeah. there somewhere. Yeah. And it was a major piece of work, wasn't it? This? Yeah. Major construction. Oh, that's right. His name was Jeff. That was who the, who the manager ah. was. Jeff. Jeff Smith. Jeff. Yes, Jeff Smith. Yeah. Yes. That's who the manager was? Yes. Then. Yeah. That's obviously where his office used to be. Yeah. You know, some of them more finished than others. That was laying the floor. In fact, I think some of them did did sell one or two of them. Oh, okay. Um, what to the builders? <laughs> no, I think so, some, another artist bought some of them. Oh, actually. right. Uh, that was just well again legs. <laughs> that was the one that the theatre's got. Is not that one, but it was based around that area because there was this bright green screen. It's in the auditorium, so that's the stage yeah. up there. Yeah. It's on the balcony again, they're just putting up um, it's like the baffles, or whatever it is, yeah. down the side walls. So. Yeah. Okay. It's Butcher's Roadside again, some more drilling. On that right hand side, auditorium, that is at the back of the auditorium. Yeah. 
shaft. So you just, just sort of went there and you just yeah just just, just carried on drawing. Captured really. the moment each time, yeah. That must be the front where the front door is, I think. Front stage. Oh, from stage. Uh, it must be again in here. Oh, that's right. I think that's the the stage doors or somewhere like that. Mm -hmm. I think that was. That's just upstairs, I think. Obviously, before we put the rail. In. <laughs> yeah. It's the foyer. Yeah. Recognise that. <laughs> that was um, where they varnished the floor in the auditorium. They did it with a broom and bowls. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. lighting. See lighting rig. Getting all that together. <coughs> that's, yeah, that's the upstairs bit. I think where the used to, you know, used to look yeah. up and then yeah. came out. The void is such. Yeah. 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 Uh, or if it says from Jeff's office, so where his office yeah, used so to be. He's be. looking out. The bar would have been on the. Well, that's the point. Where would the? Yeah, yeah where would the office been the before? Were, then. That's a good point. Yeah. I'm sure I can. On the balcony, we'll make a nice yeah, <laughs> yes. And, all that is this. and I think probably they start getting scruff here now. I don't yeah. know. Yeah, just well, flying yes. through. <laughs> so, yeah. Some of those are not. Oh, that's when they had a digger in there. Oh, right. <laughs> Must have, that must have been right. on the ground floor, I think. Yeah. It? You're in there. <laughs> Stage door right from front. You know, because you're drawing all the time, as I say, yes. you know, it's like all these things when people wander off, then you, you start again. You don't yeah. bother with trying to finish something when it's. No. I think actually these, these are The Tempest, which oh, was okay. the first performance, but oh, I was right. in the auditorium for that, and, you know, obviously it didn't. Just not a great, yeah, just yeah, didn't, not a great deal happened mm. with that. Um, mm. Yeah, it was. It's right. Mm. It's, that was the, the opening one. Was right, the Tempest. The and they were all bits and pieces from that one. And that one was back again at the, yeah. the theatre towards mm. front entrance. It's a Tempest again. <laughs> yes. One of the performances, obviously, once it was all done. Right, jazz jazz yeah. mm, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's the um, Triwalki Male Voice Choir, I think that was. Ah. So. Yeah, very good, then, eh? Again, bit of the... yeah. So that, that's. Yeah. Basically, because the, and the, I think the one or two of these ones that were sold um, is that mm. one which was the, laying the floor in the upstairs in the cafe. In the, yeah. When it was all, they sort of skimmed it all. Mm. That one you really see. Those are still there. That's obviously, that was the front lobby. Yeah, and that, that's right, that's laying the floor in the auditorium mm -hmm. and there's all the piles of things. Yeah, intricate, intricate. But yeah, that, so that was, that's all the building ones, I think, yeah, pretty much. Impressive. <laughs> a lot of them there. <laughs> there is, isn't there? <laughs> yeah. yeah, and that's the one, you know, you start, you never get any further. Mm. That's, um, blue shadow pink, that was, um, Glenn Miller Orchestra, or one oh, of those. Okay. Yeah. I think I think still, he still used have. to be the drummer on the Muppets. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone said that. Okay. He was. <laughs> That's Jake the Peg, Rolf Harris. Yeah. Yes. Still Boots. performing. Spencer Davis, apparently. All right. It's Jethro. Yeah. Well, we still have Jethro. Twice a yeah, year. Yeah, I saw his yeah. thing in there. 
just obviously a ballerina and that was uh, yeah. this Roy Hudd. Oh, yeah. So that, I'm sure some of the, our early pantos were with, with Roy. Could have been. Yeah. Now oh, that's Royal Paris again, that's his band. Mm -hmm. and, and Maddie Pryor. Yeah, it's still with it. Steve Nice fan, we still work with them, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> band of Hope, isn't it? In, in, it, it, this is this is at the theatre is now. Yeah, it must have been. Yeah, oh, I'm sure it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll we'll go upstairs. I wonder whether the... it was definitely. I'm sure it was. Mm. Yeah, I think they used to hang a curtain or something. Well, or... how interesting because that's just what we're doing now. Yeah, with, I'm sure that's what they used, used to do. <laughs> and it was. It was. It definitely wasn't on the stage. That was definitely a, oh, a smaller, okay. a smaller thing, right. in the theatre. Right. They were sat there, and we were, the audience was. Very close yeah. to him. Yeah. Oh, interesting. That's what it was. Alright, right. Snow White. Queen's Theatre, 1904. Yeah. yeah. That was the Prince. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Um, they had well, those as well. English touring. I mean, well, they're all. Yeah. Say so they're all. I mean, some of them, you know, are, are more finished and some mm. of them just a scribble, depending mm. how long it was. But. Trust, I, just, I don't know true. when they go back to, but it's quite a lot. I mean, I mean there's loading there as well. 